Hello guys, welcome to the course on Docker Basics. My name is Sijish. In this video, I will show you how to download a Docker image from Docker Hub. All the images are kept under a repository called hub.docker.com, so which is available in internet. So you can search which image you want. So everything you can do you can, from the search option. So you can just do that search. So I'm just using Ubuntu type Ubuntu you can see a lot of images it's uh, displaying which is matching with this keyword so I got my first one as Ubuntu which is the operating system I'm going to download and here you can see how many people has downloaded how many stars it's got all these things and of its official or vendor or, or third-party image etc just click here and see the details here you can see one command to download this so docker pull ubuntu if you use docker pull ubuntu so this will be downloading this image to our local environment so let me just try that docker pull ubuntu okay so it will take some time depending on your internet bandwidth it has to download couple of uh, files I think here you can see the three files this is downloading I think these are the different layers that corresponding to this particular image also you can see one thing like the tag it's using is the latest so by default it use the tag as latest see the here in case of Ubuntu the tag is something uh, similar to the version number or version so if you go back to the hub.docker.com and there is an option you can see tags so there are a lot of tags available and the one we used is uh, or downloaded is the latest and if you need some specific version and you know, if you know the version number or any other details you can make use of that okay and uh, in our case we have downloaded uh, latest tag and where these files are located so go to the slash var lib docker and based on the driver file system you used in my case it's overlay 2 so I will explain that uh, thing in detail in later videos here you can see the three directories are created so all these three directories are created as part of this docker pull process now if I just use the docker image ls or if you are not sure what option you need to pass just use the docker image so that will give you a lot of options that you can use with this command so I need to list the images I can just use ls command just use the docker image ls so that is listing the image which I have downloaded which is nothing but ubuntu colon latest uh, I will show you another example uh, I'm just using a docker run command docker uh, run iPhone I iPhone T I for interactive and T for terminal iPhone iPhone name so name of my container then uh, which repository I need CentOS colon 6 then uh, which command I need to run as part of my container so this is the main process for my container so basically now I am from my uh, terminal and it will create a container which is based out of this CentOS 6 and it will run a application or any code or any any program so in my case it's slash bin bash just enter so here you can see this is saying like unable to find the image locally so in that case if any image any docker run command is not able to find the image locally then it will try to download from internet repository which is nothing but hub.docker.com here you can see it's uh, doing the same process that we did using docker pull command so it's downloading whatever the files or directories associated with this CentOS image and once it's downloaded the images it will create the container 
by using that image actually this command is used for creating the container but in our case so we don't have a CentOS 6 locally available so now we are into different host I mean inside the container if you just use a host name if and if you just use the top command also you can see only the bash is running which is the process that we are running on uh, this container let me open another terminal just use the docker container ls sorry uh, container ls so that is listing the container right so i can just uh, uh, kill or stop this one is uh, just exit from here okay now if i just uh, see here docker container ls so this is not listing since the container is in stopped but if you want to uh, see that a you can see that container also listing here let me uh, okay so now we have seen like so docker image ls so here this is listing centos image also the reason is uh, this one we have downloaded as part of this docker run process the other one we use docker pull command so now uh, by using these images whatever the downloaded images so if you just use the docker run by using centos or ubuntu latest see i think uh, my first container is already exist so my content os container 2 i can use see this time this is not downloading because this image is already downloaded so when we try to create a container first it will check the image already exists locally otherwise it will download so you can make use of this docker pull command to download and keep it in your system or else while running itself it will download i hope this is very clear to you that's it for this uh, demo we will move to the next video see you then thank you bye